For today's Cyber CEO episode. Well, I'd like to say that I have more time, but I don't. So I just gave her my 80% of tasks and then I started doing more. It allowed me to do more. But I filled it with other tasks that would be income producing for me. The impact financially is that she's filled out our database for us and we've gotten several leads from having phone numbers and emails that we didn't have before. So it's a win-win for both of us. Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show. Denise, how are you doing today? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Yes, we're very, very excited to have you. And of course, to learn more about your experience with virtual leverage, of course. Now, um, start things off to let you know we have a lot of listeners who are business owners, just like yourself. So I need your help. Um, can you tell us something about yourself and your business, Denise? I am a realtor in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. I have a small team of agents and I'm always thinking of new ideas. I'm a marketing major from Miami University. So I needed ways to help implement those ideas. Wow. So um, how long have you been doing the real estate? I've been in business for 12 years this month. Gosh, congratulations. 12 years in the business. A lot of experience right there. Now, um, how about working with someone virtual though? Just like what you're doing with your cyber backer. Is this your first time to do something like this? It is. I've heard about it in the past and it was more economical for me. And a cyber backer would work really hard. They appreciate yes. the work and they do a great job. So it made sense for me. There we go. So how, how did you find out about cyber backer in the first place? Uh, Shannon, uh, Shannon Dagger uh, owns our region for Cyberbacker, and she is a friend of mine. I heard her talk about it, and I thought, well, if Shannon's running this, I know that she's going to give me the support I need if I need it in order to make this work for us. There we go. Of course, of course, one of our franchise owners. Now, um, was it since this is really your first? Is this your first time? This is your first time to work with someone virtual, right? For, uh, we we started with one and then changed to another, so we've yeah. had two. Okay, two cyber backers. All right then. But um the transition though, because I know in real estate most of the business is like um mostly face to face. You work with people that you can meet in an office setup, but now everything's going a bit more virtual. So was that a big change for you at all? No. Um I think it's more of a change for our cyberbacker Gwen because she's working nights. Uh but she enjoys that because then she can spend time with her family during the day. And we see each other like I'm seeing you right now, which works for us because then we can share screens, talk about yeah. what we need to do because an admin would do the same thing here as they would do in the Philippines. Yes, definitely agree with you there. Now, talk to me more about your cyberbacker experience. Then one of the first things that you had to go through was um, interviews on Zoom, communicating with our cyberbacker team, of course. How did that experience go today? I think you have to come up with a one sheet, which lists all the tasks that you need done. And I think sometimes you that's an evolving process because you don't know what you need until you get started. So you do the best you can to come up with a list of all of the tasks that are not in your 20% and that someone else could do. And then Cyberbacker tries to fit those needs with the skills of the talent that they have in their pipeline. And so then I got to meet uh, five or six people that they thought met my criteria. And then we did a quick interview. There we go. So really the interviews again, um, going through that, though, that hiring process, um, were you looking for a specific set of skills, specific type of person that you wanted to work with in your business? I did. I was a maps coach. Uh, when I started and then I transitioned um, out of coaching. Mm -hmm. And so 
when I was looking for a cyber backer for coaching, it was a little bit different, but she has worked great through both tra- both transitions. I was looking for someone who understood profit and loss, and she had a degree in accounting. Um, I was looking for someone who was well-spoken, who understood she did a newsletter in college. And so that was something that was also something that was important to me that so she proofread my work. Um, someone who did social media, um, I'm over 50, so I'm not an Instagrammer. I needed someone who could do Instagram. So just a lot of things that were not up my, like, we're not my number one thing mm-hmm. that I do well. I need someone else who could do that well. Gosh, just seems like you found a perfect match in your cyberbacker now then, Gwen, of course. Now, you already mentioned a few of the things that you needed back then. But now, what does Gwen do in your business to help out? Uh, she and I meet every day at 8 o'clock. And she has things that she does every Monday. So every Monday, she gets the numbers from this is our, our MLS, puts them into a spreadsheet for my coach, then makes a market update post for each agent, and then sends them to each agent. So there are certain days that certain things happen. But then we meet every Monday and come up with our priorities for the week. And we assign the cyber backer her priorities, um, my in-house transaction coordinator, his priorities, and then what I'm taking on. And we're trying to make sure that everyone's utilizing their time the best way possible. And then I meet with Gwen every day at eight o'clock and we go over things and I'm handing off new things to her all the time. And I need to show those to her every once in a while. Mm -hmm. So she's going to start doing my listing packets. And so I'm putting together looms so that she can review those, but we'll go over it together online. So basically um, anything you throw at Gwen, your cyber backer, she can handle it basically. Then just as long as you can do it in front of a computer. She can. She has some good resources with Cyberbacker. So she was trained on command before she ever started. Um, I switched to Brevity, so they trained her on Brevity. Um, anytime I said, I'd like you to download a list of all my Facebook contacts. And she's like, I don't know how to do that, but I'll find out. So she called around to her Cyberbacker friends and figured out how to do it. So anything I throw at her, she either researches or calls Cyberbacker to see if someone else knows how to do it. So usually within the day, everything's figured out. Actually, they're just having someone who's always who always has their best foot forward and trying to make sure that they can handle everything. Now, I forgot to ask earlier, how long have you been working with Gwen? October of last year. October of last year. So going on your first year this year then. Um, I want to know more about the partnership that you've created with Gwen, your cyberbacker, in terms of um how did you how did you make it work? Because we get that a lot here in Cyberbacker, um, especially for business owners who are doing this for the first time. I'm not sure if this is something that I can do. How do I communicate with my cyberbacker? Things like that. So how did you do it? How did you and Gwen do it, Denise? I just made it part of my day. It's in my calendar every day at eight o'clock. I know that I need to come up. It makes me plan my day ahead of time. So when I get up, I'm planning what needs to be done, mm-hmm. what I can hand off. And when we made her a priority and part of the team, but we have a power up every day at eight thirty. So she and I meet at eight, then she's included in the team power up. So she knows our goals. She knows, um, what our core values are. She participates in what she's grateful for every day. She shows us pictures of uh, her family. Yeah. We know what's going on in her life. She knows what's going on in our life. So she is a member of the team. She's not some remote person that just is on the side. Gosh. So really trying to include her whenever possible then, something like that. Right. Because I think she enjoys being a part of us and knowing what's going on too. Yes, definitely, definitely. Now, um, how about communication? You mentioned about, again, meetings during the morning, 8 o'clock, 8.30 even, she's included. How important is it to communicate properly with your cyber back? If they don't know what they're doing, they won't stay on track for you. And if they don't have enough to do, they need to know that they can communicate with you without feeling like that you're going to come down on them. So if she doesn't have enough to do, there are some videos and training that she can watch or certain books that she can read. So she knows that she has to keep herself busy. And if she needs other things to do, not to be afraid to ask. Um, communication is really important um, because they, they really want to do a good job. True. And if you can't tell them what they they need to do, then they can't do the job that you need them to do. 
Absolutely agree. Just simple as that. Again, it's a two-way street communication, of course. Now, one last question while I still have you here, Denise. Um, of course, I know it's only been, it's been a few months that you've been working together. So what I'd like to know about is what's been the biggest impact of virtual leverage in your business so far? Well, I'd like to say that I have more time, but I don't. So I just gave her my hmm. 80% of tasks and then I started doing more. <laughs> So it allowed me to do more um, because that's my choice. If I wanted to have more time, that's what I would have gotten. But instead, I filled it with other tasks that would be income producing for me. Um, And I like her as a person. So I like that she's a part of the team. So the impact um, financially is that she's filled out our database for us. And we've gotten several leads from having phone numbers, emails that we didn't have before. So she's paid for herself uh, already two or three times over um, in business for us. So it's a win-win for both of us. Love hearing that. A win-win situation for both sides. Now, I forgot to tell you that she is going to be able to listen to this. Gwen is going to be able to listen and watch this once we have this online. So I was wondering before we end, would you want to give her a quick shout out on the show? Well, Gwen, you're awesome. We love you. We're glad you're part of the team. And we hope to get you to meet you in person at some point too. There we go. Now, we are very, very excited to seeing the continued success of this partnership. And again, Denise, thank you very much for giving us your time today. I had fun talking to you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.